everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is recognizing the equation and important characteristics of the different conic sections. Let us recall first the equations of these conic sections. So here yeah, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Our r here is the radius and of course the center is at the origin. If our center is not at the origin, we will be using the formula x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Take note that we cannot see any numerical coefficients of x squared here and y squared. So this is exclusively for circle. Next, parabola. What about parabola? We have x minus h squared is equal to positive and negative for f quantity y minus k if the parabola will open upward or downward. Positive for f if upward. Negative for f if downward. What about to the left or to the right? We have the formula y minus k squared is equal to positive negative for f x minus h again this one is exclusively for parabola take note either x is squared here or y is squared not both meaning if you saw an equation like this in which either x is squared or y is squared therefore it is already a parabola next what about the ellipse we have the formula x minus a squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. So this one, our major axis here is the x-axis. Major axis is the x-axis. What about if our major axis is the y-axis? If the y-axis is your measure, this will be y minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. Take note that these equations have the same sign. They are both plus, meaning your x is positive and your y is also negative. Your x squared is positive and your y squared is also positive. But there is a possibility that they have numerical coefficients. It's because of this too. Now, what about for the last one, the hyperbola? For the hyperbola, we have x minus h squared over a squared. This time, it's minus. This is y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. The transverse axis here is the x-axis. Okay. What about if your transverse axis is the y? So you will be using the formula y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. Here in hyperbola, take note that only y squared has the negative sign. So if you saw a negative sign in y squared and there is a coefficient that is already a hyperbola. Let us determine now whether the given equation is an equation of a circle, a parabola, an ellipse, or a hyperbola. Number 1, 36x squared plus 9y squared plus 48x minus 36y minus 72 is equal to 0. Take note that both x squared and y squared have numerical coefficients and they are both positive. So if that is the case, that one is an equation of an ellipse. Same with number 2. Both x squared and y squared have numerical coefficients and they are both positive. So therefore, it's also an ellipse. For number 3, both x squared and y squared have numerical coefficients and they are both positive. But notice that 
all terms are almost divisible by 8. So, if you will divide everything by 8, that will be x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 6y plus 5 over 4 is equal to 0. So, this one becomes a circle. So, this one is a circle. It is an equation of a circle. For number 4, we have x squared, y squared. They are both positive with no numerical coefficient. Therefore, it's a circle. Number 5. Number 5, only y has squared. Therefore, it is an equation of a parabola. Number 6. What about number 6? We have 3x squared minus 6x minus 6y. Notice that only x has squared therefore this is also a parabola number seven x squared minus nine squared okay if you will notice x and y are separated by a minus sign meaning y squared has a negative coefficient and x squared has a positive coefficient so this one is a hyperbola for number 8, x squared minus y squared, again, this one is a hyperbola. Number 9, 4x squared plus 5y squared, they are both positive. And they have numerical coefficient. This one is an ellipse. And for number 10, you have 3x squared plus 5y squared minus 12x. This one is also on ellipse.